President Trump passed the Tax Cut and Jobs Act back in 2017, and within that historic piece of legislation, there was something known as the estate tax. Now, the estate tax exclusion, as it currently stands, is $13.62 million for an individual, and then you just double that for a married couple, so $27.2 million. But here's the fancy part of this whole situation, is that that estate tax exclusion is set to sunset, meaning it's set to expire in 2027. So you want to take action now. Let me explain how this all works and why I'm actually making this video is because I just got off a Zoom call with a client of mine and he has about a seven, eight million dollar net worth and I was telling him you need to sit down with your estate planning attorney and do some planning now because of the estate tax. And he said, Parsa, I'm well under that exclusion amount. I don't really need to worry about it. And I said, absolutely wrong, my friend. Let me explain to you why. So remember, I mentioned to you that the estate tax is set to sunset back down to $5 million for an individual and then $10 million for a married couple adjusted for inflation, of course. So if you take advantage of the current estate tax exclusion, you have $27 million that you can get out of your taxable estate by sitting down with a, a reputable estate planning attorney, someone who knows what they're doing. And the reason I want you guys to do this now is because we're sitting here entering 2024. We only have two more years to implement this tax planning strategy. But here's the thing. I know estate planning attorneys. I send them a ton of business. They're already swamped as it is. If you reach out to an attorney in a year from now, they're gonna be booked. They're not gonna be able to take on you as a new client. So you wanna sit down with them now and take advantage of the exclusion. So going back to my client who has that seven or $8 million net worth. So remember, the net worth is comprised of all of your holdings, your real estate, your primary residence, your investment properties, your car, Cars, your stock accounts, your fancy artwork, everything that you own has a value to it. Maybe you own a business that also has a value to it. Well, the federal government is going to give you a value of that estate. They're going to essentially do a valuation. And currently as it stands, again, if you pass away now under the exclusion amount, you're fine. It gets passed on to your next generation with no tax consequences. But in 2027, that exclusion amount drops down to $10 million adjusted for inflation. So my client, he's in his mid forties, he's a surgeon. And so at an $8 million valuation as it stands right now, and assuming his valuation grows at a conservative four to 5% every single year, he's gonna be well beyond the $27 million total net worth. And so if he does no planning, he can't get rid of taxable estate components. So if he sits down with a good reputable estate planning attorney, they can do some strategic planning and use the current $27 million estate tax exemption and get that out of his estate. There's multiple strategies to do this. Again, I'm not a licensed attorney. Sit down with your own attorney to come up with the most effective strategy for your own unique situation. But let's just use a worst case scenario. So my client, he's a surgeon, he makes really good money, but what he likes to invest his money in is real estate. Now, I love real estate, and I highly recommend most of my clients to invest in real estate. The problem with real estate is that it's a non-liquid asset. So assuming you have a massive estate that's comprised mostly of real estate, and you're above the estate tax exemption, even if it's by a mere million bucks and you've got a, let's say a 30, $40 million net worth. If you don't have that million dollars of cash to pay the estate tax, what do you think you're gonna do? What do you think your kids are gonna have to do? Well, they're gonna have to sell off your real estate holdings or your business holdings. And they're gonna have to do that likely in a fire sale because the federal government is gonna want their check from you within nine months of your passing. That's huge. So if you don't have the proper estate plan in place, you're doing yourself a disservice. What you can do right now is you reach out to an estate planning attorney that you feel comfortable with, that you know is reputable and who has these strategies already in place, and you do some estate planning because you can take advantage of the estate tax exclusion as it stands now of $27 million. And even when it reverts back to $10 million, you've grandfathered yourself in using today's tax laws. And really the whole emphasis of this video is for you guys to take action now. If you reach out to an attorney in 2025, 
when everyone else is reaching out to an attorney in 2025 because they're they're catching wind of this estate tax exclusion sunsetting, they're going to be booked. They're not going to be able to take on new business, let alone in 12 or 18 months when you know, the mainstream media catches wind of this and they're starting to get the word out that the estate tax exclusion is going to sunset. So if you found value in this video, please like and subscribe. Again, I'm not selling anything. I'm simply trying to get you guys who have valuation of your net worth in the millions of dollars to take action now. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.